Recently I went through my wardrobe and I donated all my unwanted clothes to an upcycling charity. When I was doing it I found a few items that I really loved but there was something that was not quite right about these items. They either didn't fit quite right or they weren't my style anymore. I spent a few minutes looking at these items and wondering what I could do to change them to make me love them again. So in today's video I'm going to turn my old unwanted clothes into new clothes. And this is all gonna be done without a sewing machine. I have absolutely no experience doing anything like this, so if I can do it, then you can do it too. Before we get started, I just wanna say Merry Christmas to you all. And I really do hope that 2021 will look a little bit brighter for all of us. Keep smiling and stay positive. So I'm going to begin by showing you the items I am changing today and what I plan to do with them. This cardigan is the first piece I will be changing. I bought this recently for 50 cents from the charity shop. I loved the color and the ribbed fabric, but I didn't love the length of it. I'm not very into long cardigans at the moment and cropped cardigans are definitely more on trend right now. I decided to buy it still because it was so affordable and I knew that I could cut it into a shorter length that I would prefer. The next item I will be changing is this summer floral wrap dress. I love throwing this dress on around the house during summer. It's made of a beautiful soft cotton and is so easy to wear on hot days. However, I am not a fan of these sleeves. They are a little too much for me and I think I would actually wear the dress out of the house if the sleeves were shorter. Pretty floral dresses are so on trend at the moment, particularly ones with t-shirt style sleeves. So I'm going to alter these sleeves to a long t-shirt style. The next two pieces I'm going to change are two pairs of jeans. I love these jeans, but sadly they have both stretched so much at the waist that they need taking in. I saw a video months ago about how to simply bring in your waist in your jeans. So I'm gonna give it my best shot with these two pairs. And the last thing I'm gonna change today is this cute summer dress. This dress was passed down to me from my mum. I love it for so many reasons and I won't begin to list them off. However, this dress is slightly too big for me. So it's another dress that I don't want to wear out of the house. My plan for this dress is to shorten the sleeves so that my boobs don't fall out accidentally and to also bring in the waist just a little bit. I don't want to completely take the waist in by the seams on the side of the dress because that's a really big job. So I've come up with a solution of attaching two little ties to the back of the dress that can be tied in a bow to bring the waist in a little. At this stage, I still don't know if this is going to work, but I can only hope and try and see what happens. Before I show you the finished products, I just wanted to mention that if sewing is something so far from what you think you are capable of, then I want to be the person to tell you that that is rubbish and you can do anything you set your mind to. If you don't know how to thread a needle, then watch a YouTube video. If you don't know how to sew, then watch a YouTube video. Everything you need to develop a new skill is on the internet. So take advantage of that because it is honestly so rewarding to do so. And best of all, turning old clothes into new clothes is just better for the environment and our bank accounts. Spending an afternoon doing something like this is meditative. It's a slow, quiet activity that is far better than reaching for our phones or watching TV. I highly encourage you to give it a try and see just how rewarding it is for yourself. For the blue floral dress, I needed to find some sort of tie to tie at the back to bring the waistline in. I didn't want to go out to the shops, so I thought I would go through my ribbon box instead. I have a ribbon box where I keep all ribbons from presents or things that I buy online and I just pop them in here and they come in really handy. I found this kind of shoelacy type ribbon thing. I don't know what it is, but I thought that'll do. Now it was this gray color, which wasn't right for the dress. So I decided to bleach it. I attached it to the back of my dress and I actually can't believe it, but it works. It's such a simple little trick to bring my waistline in. So here are all my before and afters from turning my old clothes into new ones.
you did enjoy today's video, you might like to see more of my fashion styling videos and lookbooks by clicking up on the screen here. Or you can follow me over on Instagram at Emily Elizabeth May. I appreciate you so much. See you next time.